Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Anuta the Crochet World and today we are going to do this beautiful pattern of a mug hug and I hope you're going to like this video and enjoy this video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please, please, please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, share and I will come up with this beautiful videos in the future as well. So for this beautiful mug hug, let's begin. And to start with, um, I've used my 3mm of hook, my 3mm of hook, and I've taken my um, cotton yarn. So let's have a cotton yarn here. Now for this particular design, I have started up from here and I've made this design. Then I've made the border and I've made this loop and a button here. So let's begin. Now for this one, Let's have your slip knot and we are going to do 15 chains here. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 14 and 15 so that's our 15 chains here now turn your work and have your yarn over now this is my first chain the back portion of my first chain and this is the back portion of my second chain and i'm going to insert my hook into this second chain so yarn over and make a half double crochet here so insert your hook and grab your yarn you're going to have your three loops yarn over and pull it through all three loops now into the next stitch next chain i'm gonna do a slip stitch here so insert your hook into that next stitch yarn over grab your yarn and pull it through all two loops and make a slip stitch here again into the next stitch i'm gonna do a half double crochet this is a half double crochet and into the next stitch I'm going to make a slip stitch here. Now again into the next stitch do a half double crochet. And into the next stitch do a slip stitch here. And we are going to repeat this thing. So we're going to do half double crochet into the first stitch and then a slip stitch into the next stitch then again a half double crochet and again a slip stitch again a half double crochet and a slip stitch and as we have chained up 15 and we have started our work uh, from the uh, from the second chain we are going to end up having 14 stitches and into the last stitch we are going to have our slip stitch so i'm going to meet you at the end of this round okay so at the end of my round one or row one, I've done my 14 stitches here and I've done my last slip stitch here. And for now round two or row two, let's chain up one here, turn your work and do a half double crochet into the next stitch. Now they are first stitch. This is your chain one. This is your chain one and this is your next stitch. So just yarn over, insert your hook and grab your yarn, yarn over and pull it through all three loops and this is your half double crochet. Now again into the next stitch, insert your hook and make a slip stitch here. Now into the next stitch, yarn over and make a half double crochet. So insert your hook, grab your yarn and pull it through all three loops. Again into the next stitch, make a slip stitch here now again into the next stitch make a half double crochet and into the next stitch make a slip stitch and we are going to repeat this one half double crochet and one slip stitch one half double crochet and one slip stitch and we are going to end up having our 14 stitches here at the end of round two and for the round three we're going to do exactly same thing we're going to chain up one 
then into the first stitch we are going to do half double crochet then a slip stitch then a half double crochet and a slip stitch and in total i have done here 50 rows so these are the 50 rows now i have taken 50 rows because this is the size of my mug uh, it's absolutely depends on the size of your mug so uh, count it uh, what size you want and uh, do your plus or minus your rows okay so i have done my 50 rows and it looks like this now i'm gonna do a single crochet on all four sides and to do that i'm gonna chain up one here chain one and insert your hook into this first space and make your first single crochet and you're gonna have 50 single crochets on this uh, longer side on both the sides so um, here i'm gonna have my 50 single crochets and here i'm gonna have my another 50 single crochet as we have done here our 14 stitches we're gonna have our 14 single crochets here and a 14 single crochets here and how to do a single crochet here so as we have done our first single crochet here i'm gonna insert my hook into this this space and this is the um end and starting point of our first and second um rows so it's gonna be exactly 50 here as well if you can yep this is if you can see this spot here there is a space here this is the third row similarly here that's our fourth row and that's our fifth row and this is how we're gonna know how we're gonna have our 50 stitches i'll tell you for one more time and let me close up let me have a close up here so if you can see you can find out a, a better position from here as well but if you can see this this line is the starting point of our next row and your hook is going to come up like this and that's it this is your one single crochet and then in the next spot you're gonna have your space here and this is your next single crochets so that's it you're gonna have your single crochets you're gonna have your 50 single crochets and i'm gonna meet you at the end of this round here okay i've done my 48 single crochets here and this is gonna be my 49th single crochet and this is my 50th single crochet and that's it it is done now i'm gonna insert my hook into this first stitch from this round so insert your hook into this first stitch and make a single crochet similarly we're gonna insert our hook into the second stitch and we'll make a single crochet and we're gonna have our 14 single crochet on this line so i'm gonna meet you at the end okay i've done my 13 stitches for this row and this is gonna be my last stitch this is my 14th stitch leave this one behind if you want to weave this end in you can weave this end in as well but i'm gonna leave it like this for now and again i'm gonna do my single crochets my 50 single crochets here so i'm gonna insert my hook into this one and that's my one single crochet and as i said it before that's gonna be your second spot for your second single crochet again into this one my third single crochet and into this spot my fourth single crochet and i'm gonna do another i'm gonna do in total 50 single crochets another 46 single crochets and i'm gonna meet you at the end of this round okay i have my 47 sorry 48 uh, stitches here and that's gonna be my 49 and my 50th stitch and it's it's done and i'm gonna do another 14 stitches on this line this is gonna be my last line so insert your hook into your first stitch into your first single crochet second single crochet third single crochet and i'm gonna meet you at the end here
okay so that's my last stitch and that i have done my 14 stitches i'm going to insert my hook into my first stitch here this is my first stitch now if you have any uh, question that how you're going to find out which is your first stitch remember that you have started up from here or similarly you can insert your stitch marker here as well now insert your hook into your first uh, stitch and make a slip stitch here and that's it this is how we're gonna tie up our work and it's gonna look like this so the border is gonna look like this and that's it don't worry if your uh, border border uh, messed up in this places like this don't worry uh, it's eventually gonna go so as we have tied up our work here now i'm gonna chain up one here and i'm gonna insert my hook into my second uh, stitch as you can see this is my second stitch and i'm gonna insert my hook into that second stitch and we'll grab the yarn and we'll make a single crochet and this is called a back single crochet so this is a single crochet similarly i'm going to insert my hook into this next stitch and we'll grab my yarn and we'll make another single crochet again insert your hook into your third stitch grab your yarn and make a third back single crochet insert your hook into your fourth stitch grab your yarn and make single crochet insert your hook into your next stitch grab your yarn and make a single crochet again do the same make a single crochet and this is what we are doing a back single crochet it's called a back single crochet and you don't need to count your stitches and you are gonna go all the way straight because you have your uh, single crochets here so you don't need to stop at any place you can smoothly go uh, on all the um, lines all the sides so i'm gonna go from this way to this and i'm gonna tell you how to do a loop here because we are gonna we are gonna put our um, button here and for that button we're gonna need a loop here so i'm gonna do i'm gonna i'm gonna go here we'll do one side and then i'm gonna tell you how to do your loop here and then we will continue doing our back single crochet so let's do our, your single crochet until here and i'm gonna come up and we'll meet you here okay so far i've done my this row and this row now here i'm at the corner I'm at the corner here and this is my corner stitch so this is my uh, first corner stitch and this is my next corner stitch and if I'm gonna count from here to here it's gonna be 15 stitches I know it should be 14 stitches but it's, it's been happening because uh, we haven't made any extra stitch stitches when we are tying up this uh, ends or uh, we are making a square here and that's why this is happening so uh, we have 15 stitches here so we're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So this is our seven. And we're gonna count from here. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we're gonna take out the seven stitches and this is our middle stitch. And I'm gonna insert my stitch marker into this middle stitch because I'm gonna put my um, loop here. Now let's start doing this do a back single crochet sorry i've missed the video there but into that eighth stitch i've made another eight chains and have inserted my hook into the same stitch and have made a slip stitch there to form a loop and then i've started doing my back single crochet okay so i've done my all back single crochets here and that's my loop and i've done all back single crochets here now this is my last stitch this is my last stitch and i'm gonna do my uh, back single crochet into this one and that's it this is my last back single crochet now i'm gonna uh, leave this stitch and i'm gonna insert my hook in, into this back portion 
of my first stitch and we'll grab this yarn and that's it this is our, how I'm going to tie up my work and it's not going to look it's, it's going to be perfect now I'm going to weave my ends in and I'm going to make my button into this one okay so so far it is done and i've tied my work here i've got the yarn and i'm gonna take the button and we'll put it here now i'm not gonna count the stitches because there is no point of counting stitches here i'm just gonna make an idea that how to where it should come and it should come in the middle like this Like this yeah it was gonna be all right so and this is in the middle yep yeah. and I'm gonna insert my needle here and I'm gonna so in this uh, button I'm gonna meet you after this and here it is our final product is ready it's nice it's done I weaved all my ends in how it looks from the back side now this is the area where we have uh, done our last round and it's all done all tied up i've tied up my button as well and the hook and it's gonna be like this and your beautiful mug hug is ready I hope you have liked my today's tutorial. If you have liked this, please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you into the next video. Till then, bye.